On continuing coverage, Republican and Democratic state lawmakers visited a man on death row today in Livingston. They are trying to stop his execution set to happen next month. Robert Robertson was convicted of murdering his two year old daughter, Nikki, more than two decades ago. Now a group of 34 scientists, 86 state lawmakers and 70 attorneys are all trying to help him. Investigators involved in this case claim the science used to convict them was questionable. It was presented during the trial that Nikki had suffered from shaken baby syndrome. But since Robertson's conviction, this group says scientists have debunked the version of the baby sh of the shaken baby hypothesis placed before the jury 21 years ago. Several lawmakers met with Robertson today behind bars and say they will do what they can to stop his execution, ensuring he gets a fair trial. This isn't just about Robert. This is about other people like Robert um, in similar situations and maybe not just on death row, uh, but but this is his case is not unique. And so his case and his hope and all of our hope is to shine a light on this and to make the necessary reforms again to where we are not um, executing or um, imprisoning innocent people. Experts say Nikki was suffering from other health issues and believe medications prescribed by a doctor may have also contributed to her death. Robertson's execution is currently scheduled to happen on October 17th.